Teachers, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use some of the tools within a quiz to see more information about the results that you have been given. Simply click on the course that the quiz is in, click on quizzes. You need to make sure that this quiz that you're looking at this information on has already been taken by the students so that you have results. Find the quiz that you would like to see the information on. I'm going to say it's this narrative structure quiz. Now, once you're in this menu here, over on the right side is where we want to look. Now, you have three options, Quiz Statistics, Moderate This Quiz, and Speed Grader. Now, if you go to Speed Grader, this is where you can see each student's quiz, what they answer on each question, and it's also where you could grade open response questions. Moderate This Quiz is a great tool. So if you click on Moderate This Quiz, it'll tell you every student that has taken the quiz, whether they've taken it or not, how many attempts they've had at taking the quiz, and how much time it took them to finish the quiz with their score. This is also a place where you can come in and you can give multiple attempts on the, uh, the quiz. So even if you didn't allow multiple attempts inside the settings of the quiz, you can come here and give a student just independently an other option to take that quiz again. So let's go ahead and go back to our quiz. And remember, that was under moderate this quiz. You get a lot of good information about the quiz. But when it comes to the questions and the results of the questions, you really want to go to the quiz statistics. Under quiz statistics, you get this first graph. This graph shows you the uh, percentage of students by bars that got the certain grades in between this criteria. Up at the top left, you have average score high score, the lowest score, uh, standard deviation, and the average time it took the students to take the test. As we scroll down, you'll see you get a question breakdown. Now this question breakdown gives you a lot of good information. It tells you the question, tells you the percentage of students that got it correct, it shows you which distractor got the most hits, the least, and which ones got the correct answer. And it tells you by number of students as well. So that's a great data picture really quick. Now this one you might not know as quickly, and that is your discrimination index. Discrimination index is one, the goal is for this to be a positive number. The higher the positive number, the better the discrimination is. What this means is that out of all the students in this class that take this test, the highest scoring students got this question correct. As you can see, that's what this bar graph shows. So this is high scoring students, this is medium scoring students, and this is low scoring students on an average. As you can see, that most of the high scoring students got it correct. The middle was half and half, and then the low scoring students mo uh, got it wrong more than they got it right. So we have a positive discrimination. That means that the question was uh, a good question that represented the entire test. And as you can see on this question, we have a discrimination here of negative 0.12. And the reason this is, is because the students that scored highest on the test got this question wrong. The students that scored the lowest on the test got the question right. So that usually means that this question might not be a good question to ask for this test. Here's another example. Here we have the mid-level students that scored in the middle all got this question right. Some, some students at the high level got it wrong, and that's why we have this red number here. And then this is another example. We have 0.13, which is very low. You see that this question was missed by most students. Only 17% got them right. But none of the mid-level students got it correct. Some of the low-scoring students got it correct. So that's why you have this low number here. So you can see that the discrimination index could be a useful tool to seeing how the students answered all of the questions on your test and to see what questions or good questions to ask your students and some that might not have been. If you click on the little icon on the top right, it will bump down the choices that each student chose. And you can click on these choices and see who chose which one. So you can really quickly see in your class who those students are that are getting distracted by these answers and the ones that did get it correct. Now if we scroll back up to the top, you have options here. 
So you can filter by just a section instead of everyone that took that quiz. You can go to student analysis and when you click on that it's actually going to download a Excel file that will show you each student's score in a detailed um, analysis of all their questions and answers. You can also click item analysis. Item analysis will also download an Excel that shows you each item, each quiz question and how it, how it was represented. I hope you now can go with confidence to the quiz settings and see the analysis of your students and the questions that you asked your students. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.